Hello and welcome back. I'm Tex, and this is episode 7, the final episode of Lunar Industries, an Orbiter 2016 video series loosely based on the movie called Moon. In the previous episode, we planned our trip back to the Earth, and we actually arrived here just above the Earth. In this episode, we need to do an aero capture maneuver, re-enter, and land back at Cape Canaveral. So without further ado, let's go ahead and complete the series. Okay, so let's immediately get started. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is actually adjust uh, my periapsis. It's currently at about 61 kilometers. I'm going to bring it up to about 63 kilometers. I just feel a little more comfortable with it just a bit higher. Um, I just uh, find that coming in Rotation. around 60 to 61, sometimes you get a little too hot. Um, so you can do it, but uh, that's just personal preference. So no big deal. We were pretty close to that anyways. Um, so let's go ahead and get things set up. Uh, on the right side, I'm going to open up uh, base sync here. And uh, we're going to put it on one orbit because, of course, we're going to do a direct entry here. And let's open up an external MFD, and I'm going to set this one up for aero break. Now, initially, aero break won't be of much use to us until we actually complete the aero capture maneuver, which you'll see uh, uh, once we do that. But um, in the previous video, I talked about setting up the angle um, so that you actually didn't have it directly or right on zero because we wanted to sort of lead the base, if you will, to anticipate for the Earth's rotation. Now, I, when I had recorded this video, um, that was before I sort of learned about that. So you'll notice that um, uh, it was actually pretty close to zero at the very beginning of this video. You saw it on IMFD. It was like, I think, 0 0.0005 or something like that. So it was too close to zero. And you'll notice looking at the map over there on the left side how we're currently just to the east of KSC, and KSC is moving toward our our orbital plane, our trajectory there, as the Earth rotates. But um, it's actually going to pass it up, and then we're going to be to the west of Cape Canaveral with our trajectory, so we're going to have to turn back to the right. So we'll see that play out. Not a big deal. We're still plenty close enough to pull off this uh, direct entry. Okay, so we are approaching entry interface here around 150 kilometers in altitude. I'll go ahead and put up the radiator and get things set up. Um, while I was talking, I also did set up the attitude hold. Uh, I set the bank to negative 180 degrees because we are going to come in inverted and I will explain that as that's uh, happening. But I'm just going to go ahead and roll over inverted and get things ready to go. I haven't engaged the attitude hold just yet. Re-entry check. So re-entry check, everything is green, and I've now engaged the attitude hold, and I'm going to pitch up so that we get um, an angle of attack around 45 to 50 degrees, maybe slightly over 50, but probably not too much. Okay, so what's happening here, you can see that our altitude is just about to drop under 100 kilometers. Our ground speed there is about 10,900 uh, meters per second so we're definitely at escape velocity and so by coming in inverted like this it's going to allow us to control our vertical speed so that we don't skip out of the atmosphere because uh, it's going to be very easy to skip out of the atmosphere coming in with this much velocity we all but we obviously do not want to burn up either um, so when you roll inverted if you think about it your wings provide lift for you so if you roll inverted and um, with the wings providing lift for you, they're, they're actually going to provide lift in the opposite direction, uh, which means that it's going to help keep us down in the atmosphere. Um, the more angle of attack that we put in, uh, the less lift that those wings are going to provide for us. So we will actually... Um, we would actually, okay, so everything's backwards, so we would actually uh, begin to climb a bit. Okay, so let me let me sort of explain that um, in just a minute. So what we're looking at here, you can see that we're currently at an angle of attack at 50 degrees. And you'll notice our vertical speed over on the left MFD over there is coming up. We are approaching periapsis, actually. You can see PE listed on the altitude tape on the surface MFD. As our vertical speed is coming up closer to zero, we want to control it and make sure that it doesn't go positive on us or else we would skip out. But we also don't want to keep our vertical speed too negative or else we'll burn up. 
So you'll notice that as my vertical speed was approaching zero, I'm slowly beginning to decrease our angle of attack. So I'm bringing the nose uh, back up to a more, um, I guess, level uh, position, if you will, with the horizon. And as I do that, as I bring the nose back up, as I reduce our angle of attack, you'll notice that it is actually increasing our, the rate of our vertical speed there. So our vertical speed is increasing. And so I don't want it to increase too much or will burn up, so I'm going to bring the nose back down, which is increasing our angle of attack. So the wings are not going to provide that lift, uh, that I guess the, that opposite lift that we're going for. Um, and then we will begin to climb a little bit. Or uh, in other words, we'll begin to um, slow down the rate of our vertical speed change. Um, so yeah, so basically we're just um, riding this out at the moment. You'll notice our ground speed has dropped under 10,000 meters per second. It's actually getting really close to 9,000 meters per second. Orbital velocity is somewhere around 7,600 meters per second. And basically we're, we need to stay in this inverted position until we reach roughly around orbital velocity. Uh, at that point, we're no longer in danger of really skipping out of the atmosphere per se. You can still skip up really high um, or skip back out into orbit around the Earth, but uh, at least we're not in an escape trajectory. Uh, but at that point, once you, it's roughly around orbital velocity, which we're getting pretty close to it now. Um, that's the point when you have to roll right side up and do a more traditional reentry. So basically I find that that point occurs when I'm no longer able to control my vertical speed in this inverted position. So when my vertical speed starts to, um, when I start falling too quickly, in other words, when my vertical speed starts increasing uh, negatively and I can't control it anymore, then that basically is the point of no return. That's when you need to immediately roll back over very quickly in a upright position and uh, do a proper re-entry. So you can see we're actually approaching Central America now over on the map MFD there. And we have reached that point, so I've slowed time down. I've, I had to do that because I need to basically uh, set this bank back to zero. And so now, now that is done, I'm going to go back to normal time speed and immediately roll over right side up as quickly as I can. And this part is sort of tricky. It takes some practice because if you don't do it right, you'll, you will actually uh, destroy your vessel. So we're now right side up and I immediately re-engage attitude hold. And you can see that uh, we will now adjust our angle of attack as needed in order to um, make sure that we can get to the base. We manage our energy in such a way that we, we reach the base. So now the aero brake MFD is really of use to us. So during the whole aero capture maneuver, it, it really isn't helpful a whole lot because we're flying inverted and the predictions are, are not exactly what we're looking for. So the whole goal of that inverted aero capture maneuver is simply to scrub that escape velocity that we have to get ourselves down to a more manageable velocity, to orbital velocity. Um, and again, that's roughly around 76, maybe 7,800 meters per second. Uh, and it's usually around that velocity range when you're going to be rolling right side up and conducting a more normal re-entry. So I can't give you an exact number, but again, I go by my vertical oh. speed. When I notice that my vertical speed is uh, basically uh, falling too quickly and I'm not able to control no, it anymore in an inverted position, then I know it's time to go ahead and roll right side up. Okay, so you can actually see that... Um, on the map that our trajectory, and you can see on air brake as well, that our trajectory is actually to the uh, west, to the left of Cape Canaveral. And that is because, um, again, when I recorded this video before I, I knew about uh, sort of aiming ahead of the base, if you will, to compensate for the Earth's rotation, um, I just didn't take that into effect. And uh, so we're having to uh, correct for that now. But our, our angle was still very close, so it's not a huge problem. Uh, but maybe that's something if you want to go and play with my scenario pack. Uh, if you want to try and perfect that, uh, you can certainly do so, and you can see how that, um, how that will actually be affected uh, with your approach to the Earth 
and your re-entry back to Cape Canaveral. So we're now we just pretty much need to ride this down. It's uh, it's become a pretty typical re-entry at this point. We're about um, roughly 1,300, uh, 1,300 kilometers from Cape Canaveral. So we uh, we've got a little bit of distance to travel, but our our ground speed is just over about 6,000 meters per second. And uh, we actually bounced up a little bit when we rolled right side up. Uh, but uh, we didn't really skip out of the atmosphere, so we're sort of just um, coming back down and we're going to fall into some of the thicker atmosphere and scrub uh, the rest of this velocity that we have. You can see we're actually going to be crossing Cuba um, right near Havana, actually, just ahead of us. And looking at the base income FD, that off-plane distance is showing to be about 104 kilometers off from Cape Canaveral, so Again, that is the reason we are banked over to the right. So you can see actually looking at the map how much the uh, Cape Canaveral, how, you know, the Earth's rotation, how much Cape Canaveral has actually moved to the east away from our uh, trajectory. So that, uh, that is a good graphical demonstration or a, an example of of how setting up the angle in uh, IMFD is sort of really, uh, r really helpful to take that into consideration. Also, I noticed um, when I recorded this for some reason uh, before entry interface or at entry interface when I uh, when I activated the attitude hold, I didn't actually turn on AF control surfaces. Uh, so. For some reason, it still worked, but um, you would normally want to have AF control surfaces on for your uh, for your re-entry. So make sure that you do have that on. But yeah, I mean everything I'm looking at at this point is uh, in the green. We probably could have dumped that uh, some of that extra RCS fuel that we had. It's just uh, unneeded mass, but it's not a problem. Um, I mean, at this point, we're just about home. We've uh, crossed over Cuba, and you can just see uh, Florida ahead. I, I did pan down a little bit. We are actually uh, angled up quite a bit. You can see on the surface MFD there that our angle of attack is currently at 41 degrees. Um, but yeah, just uh, I just pan the view down so that we can see something ahead of us there. So yeah, we've got the Florida coast peeking out just ahead. Our off-plane distance is coming down nicely, and uh, we are heading right over toward the base. So um, ground speed is uh, just about down to 4,000 meters per second. Our temperature never really got critical. Um, it got, I think, maybe in the yellow range, but uh, we managed to keep things relatively cool, and that plays into the longitude and latitude that we actually uh, came in and hit the atmosphere at. We came in far enough back from the base that we were able to, um, you know, do an, an aero capture maneuver and slow down without having to brake too aggressively. Mach 11. Yeah, so at this point, I mean, like I said, we're almost home. We're, we're basically over Florida now. And, um, I think for the rest of the video here until until we're safely landed or, or I guess just on final approach I'll go ahead and leave you with a little music in the background uh, there's not much more to narrate um, at this point we're just going to continue riding out uh, this re-entry we're just about done with that get ourselves lined up for the runway and come down and land safely uh, and that will certainly wrap up this uh, great video series so I'll come back and talk to you in just a bit when we're on final approach
subsonic. Okay, tower has cleared us to land. We're almost on the ground. Let's not screw things up this far into the flight. All right. And there's 600. Let's lower the gear. Pre flyer coming up. Warning. Gear is up. Gear down and lock. 100. 50. 20. 10, 6, 2, wheels oh. down, wheels up. Oh, a little Gear bit of a down. bounce there. Not ideal, but we are on the ground. Air brakes deployed, brakes on. Information. APU oh, let's bring it to a stop here. Almost there. And we'll stop. Whew. Okay. Uh, wow. Yeah, we made it. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get everything turned off here. We're safely back on the ground. We'll turn off beacon and strobe. Let's uh, let's see. There it is. Let's open the cabin hatch. Using okay. Um, let's see. Let's turn off AF control surfaces. Watch. Let's turn off the HUD. Power down the MFDs. We can turn off the APU. So we uh, five days, ten hours, forty-one minutes, and thirty-nine seconds on that interval timer. Timer. Uh, that was a total of 35 Watch days over. mission elapsed time, 7 hours and 37 minutes. So external cooling external is cooling online. online. And taking a look at our fuel, uh, of course we had nothing left in the main tank. We put everything in the RCS tank. We had plenty of fuel left in the RCS tank, of course. And uh, APU fuel remaining was uh, about 75 kilograms or almost 30% left. Um, Pretty close on the locks, but not too bad. 13 hours and 58 minutes, 59, uh, 57 seconds for the six crew members we had on board. So all in all, I mean, that's, uh, I would say, a pretty successful re-entry landing. And overall, um, a successful, uh, you know, series flight as well, all the way to the moon and back here to Cape Canaveral. 
Uh, man, it's been a lot of fun, guys. Uh, hope you've enjoyed it as much as uh, I have uh, playing. And uh, I'm not sure what's coming next, but I'm sure I will think of something pretty cool to do. So uh, thank you guys for following the entire series. I really appreciate it as always. I wish you all the best. Hope you're all well. Until the next series, take care, and we'll see you then.